Dharamshala is a very spiritual place located in Himachal Pradesh in the north of India. Home to the Dalai Lama, this hill station is full of Buddhist monks as well as many Tibetan people. I loved seeing this unique mix of culture while exploring yet another diverse side of India. Dharmshala. Um, I got here really late last night from Shimla. So I just booked somewhere right here in Dharmshala that's like close to the bus station. A lot of people when they come to Dharmshala they go to McLeod Ganj. So driving it's like a half hour, 45 minutes. But now there is a new um, like cable car that goes there. So that's where I'm walking right now and we'll see. It's so cool. I'm not even like five minutes outside of my, outside of my hotel and I've already seen like three Buddhist monks walking around, which I haven't seen anywhere else in India yet. So that's really cool. It says, Skywalk this way, <laughs> past all the construction. I'm really not sure what I'm doing, but those guys all looked at me and they didn't say anything when I started walking here. So <laughs> I guess maybe it's right. This is definitely the Skywalk. I made it, ho ho. This is January 2022. So like two years. Skywalk. So I came in, I went through the security check. They like, I don't know, metal detector, you look at your stuff. But I have to wait 40 minutes to go on it. And then it's a 12 minute ride. Um, in a taxi, it's only like 18 minutes. So I think I might take a taxi and then just maybe come back with this because here it is 430 one way or 675 two ways something like that so a taxi is probably cheaper honestly but i wanted the views so we'll see uh, yeah so the skyway was 450 one way and the taxi is 300 um which it's a little longer just driving but with the wait time that they told me at the skyway it's going to be way faster and it's cheaper so probably even cheaper than 300 but they told me 300 so whatever <laughs> i'll be there soon made it to the square the views on the drive up here were insane um I need to find where I'm eating. So one temple here, there's a Kala Chakra temple, is like right here in the square where he dropped me off. So I'm gonna check out that and then get coffee, even though I'm super hungry, but the temple's right here. So I'm gonna go there first and then try and eat. This is the temple right here. It's raining. I don't know if that's from all the snow on the roof, but yeah, here is the temple. Of course, I'm on the wrong side to try and go in it. Oh my God. The snow just fell. <laughs> how, how do I get in the town pool? Oh, you can. Neat. I guess you can go in at least a little. They have their shoes on. I thought I'd have to take my shoes off. Maybe not. So cool. It's so cool it's spinning and it rings the bell. Yeah, so it's super Buddhist here. That's so cool. You want to need prayer wheel? Sorry. Okay. Thousands of mantras. So spinning the wheel once earns merit to equal the recitation of the mantras inside the wheel. Turn it clockwise. But I got to spin all the wheels. That was cool. And in the first part. Um, but yes, this is the Kala Chakra Temple. Literally right here in the middle. It's really nice. Um, yeah. Lots of shopping here too, lots of puppies. Oh my god, these mountain dogs. Hey! Puppy? Hi! Oh my god, he's so cute! He's too too. Come here! Hi! Aww! 
it's so neat seeing all the monks walk around, the Buddhist temples, the mountains in the back. So cool. And I'm going to eat right here at this cafe, Om Cafe. Apparently it's also a hotel here, but the view is so nice. Oh my god. Oh. Crazy. Um, where to go? Here. Not really breakfast. I got coffee, but I got fried rice. <laughs> I don't know. Literally, it's like I'm back in Thailand. There's like monks walking around everywhere and Buddhist temples and now I'm eating fried rice. <laughs> right, I have my coffee so my fingers aren't really numb now and this fried rice is so good. And yeah, just here with the views. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, I wasn't sure about coming here because I was so cold but I'm so happy I came here. Like, Dharmshala and here in McLeod Ganj is gorgeous. I had no idea the Himalayas were so close. All the veggies in this are so fresh and crunchy. Like the bell peppers are amazing and it has eggs. Oh, I miss eggs. And the whole thing is huge. I don't know if I can even finish it. It's so big. <laughs> All right, so I just paid. I got my double coffee and my huge fried rice was 360. Um, but the owner was so nice. I was asking him questions about all the places I want to walk and stuff. And he gave me some good tips. So I'm going to go start walking. Hi, all the snow is falling. It's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch out for falling snowfall. That's scary. There's actually like a lot of it. Um, I'm going to walk down to the famous Dalai Lama temple, which is where the Dalai Lama moved to in like 1959 when he was exiled from Tibet. So that's supposed to be one of the most famous things to do here. And there's more snow. Oh, a husky. So cute. Oh. There are so many of these pictures everywhere and they're gorgeous. Like there's a store, here's another store full of them and singing bowls. I love it, I want one. If I had room in my backpack, maybe they have like postcard. Let me see. I don't know, but they're gorgeous. They don't have any tiny postcard ones. Um, the guy was saying though they can roll them up in a tube so it will be safe while I'm traveling but I don't think I can do that for a couple months. Oh, here's a little market. I guess this is the McLeod Market. Oh, there's flowers. So cute. I wanna look. What is everything here? I need postcards. So cool. Oh, cute here, cute. What about this clear one or the green one? This. These two? What are those ones? These are uh, Garnet and Lex Luzuli. I started talking to the guy back there. He was super nice. I ended up buying a ring and a necklace. So they both match, they're both turquoise for 500. Um, I didn't really try to get it less, that's just what he said, but I don't know. He was nice. I like them. <laughs> so, yeah. Cute. This whole market, it's still going. The market's really big, actually. I love walking around all these hill stations because everything is just gorgeous. Like, it's cool markets, cool buildings. The views are amazing everywhere. <sighs> love it. Here's the other side of the Skyway where I would have come if it wasn't a big wait. So it's literally just right here in the middle. That's cool. Oh, there's people on it. It says here's a Tibetan refugee market. Cute. Maybe that's all inside here. Oh, there are the hats everyone's wearing. It's very slippery here on the snow though. I'm sliding all around. <laughs> These guys said I'm going the wrong way. Back up here to the right. <laughs> but it's cool though because everyone's super nice. Like, they'll just chat with you, see where you want to go, say hi, tell you where to go. <laughs> Woo, I'm falling. 
I don't even see the mountains behind me. Oh my God, those views. I want the cloud to move, that's gorgeous. Oh, so nice. I'm supposed to leave here tomorrow, but I already think I wanna stay longer. <laughs> Especially here in McLeod Ganj, it's so nice. These views. Entrance to the temple this way. There's a statue here and it says burning Tibet. Please remember them in Tibet 122. What is that from 1998 to 2013? Like monks on fire? That's so scary. Let's see. But yeah, there's a big mural behind there and all these authentic Tibetan art gift shops. I wanna see in here, there's like yaks and stuff. And then down here, I guess, is the temple. It's still following the signs up here to the temple. Honestly, I don't really know anything about Tibet. Like, I know the Dalai Lama was exiled in, it's like 1960-something, and he moved here to Dharamshala. Um, but I don't really know much else. I'm excited, though. Hopefully, it'll have a lot of information here. Right, there's like security there. They scan your bag and a metal detector. And then he said, you can just go in. There's no ticket or anything. I'm fine to take pictures. I don't know what I'm doing here. Temple upstairs. It looks like there's an amazing view here though. It says the temple is up here. I went inside the room here. Um, there's so many gorgeous like paintings, mandalas. I wasn't allowed to take pictures in there, but it was so nice. There's all the Mani prayer wheels, the same ones at the Kalachakra temple. Here's the same spinning one they had at the Kalachakra temple. Huge. Yeah, I asked the guy here. He said you can walk down one kilometer from here, but you can walk down to the Tibet Museum and the Tibet Library. So I want to see both of those, but first I, <laughs> I need to go back the other side of where I came from. So I didn't plan this very well, but I'm gonna go up and then come back. Look at the singing bowl. That's so cool. square with the statue. I need to walk 20 minutes down this road and I'll get to the next place that I'm trying to go to. Which it looks like it'll be a nice walk, hopefully. The guy at my cafe this morning said it's this red building out here on the left. So I'm going right next to that red thing for this amazing looking neo-gothic church. Yak cow things. What are. Oh, puppy. Oh, that's crazy. Outside the eco park. I didn't even know what the eco park was. I was coming here for the church. So the church literally is the red building. I thought it was next to the red building. But no, it is that. Maybe here is the entrance. The Church of St. John in the wilderness. Built in 1852. That's so old. It's amazing. Oh, I think here it says more about it. Yeah. Not that. Oh, there's actual church services. 10 a.m. in English, 11.30 in Hindi. You can go in too. Nice. 
church is so pretty. I love how it's so different here, like in Dharmshala than, I don't know, I haven't been that many places yet, but it's just not what I expected at all coming to India. Like to just be in this mountain town where you're just like right there, views of the Himalayas, like Buddhist monks walking around everywhere, and then a crazy neo-Gothic church just out here in the woods. Like, I'm, oh, I love it. You can't take pictures inside. Um, but you can go inside and there's a couple different stained glass windows which are super pretty and at the back over the altar it's like this old wooden roof and there's all these like plaques that are like in memory of whichever person and one of them said in memory of this guy that died in i think 1883 here in dharmshala by being attacked by a bear and, like that's kind of scary that <laughs> I guess there's bears. I guess there's a lot of things here in the woods, but there's also bears that kill people. So, good to know, walking around alone. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna walk back a different way, which is a little longer, but it'll stop by this cool meditation center, which I feel like that's a really big thing here in Dharmshala, like meditating and like all the Buddhism. Um, and I'm kind of really interested to see how it is. They have like courses and stuff which I don't think I can do right now, but I want to see. Oh, here's the board I was looking for. This was hidden behind the entrance. So it says this is one of the oldest cathedrals in North India. Built in 1852, known for its unique Gothic character, stained glass windows and memorial of Lord Elgin. Huh. All right, just 20 minutes along this little <laughs> one-way mountain road. And I'll arrive at the meditation center. Woohoo! <laughs> Here's where I'm walking, and the views here are just insane. So that's McLeod Ganj, and then Dharmshala, I guess, is the one down there. But honestly, though, it is kind of creepy walking this <laughs> mountain road. Like, there's no cars, there's no one else, there's nothing, and I just read about a bear killing someone. So it's kind of creepy. And then you come walking along and there's a ton of monks here. It's so cute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's so cute. There's a bunch of kids and then like a, a lady. And they're all just like walking along and laughing and stuff. I don't know where they're going because, yeah, I don't know, but cute. Also all these no littering signs. Love it. I guess that's why it's so clean here. Like there's no trash anywhere. Super clean. Even these views are amazing. And then all the snow and the taxi drivers having a little hangout in the snow with these views. So cool. Oh, this is rough. There's a puppy on the roof and all the flags with the mountains. So pretty. Oh. Oh, jeez. I'm not even halfway up. <sighs> There's a tea shop and the views here, oh my god. Hi. Puppy! I do not know where I've walked to, but I love it. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. Oh. There's like this flag place up here. I guess it's up here. It says it's close and there's people walking up here. So maybe right up in the mountains where they are. <laughs> there's a mini snowman, cute. Or maybe it's just the view. I need to check my map. Oh, it is up there, I see. Um, where am I going? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't have the right shoes for this. Oh. 
<sighs> Honestly, I feel like this is what half the people here are doing, just randomly walking around these roads. But like, with the woods and all the snow and the views, it's so amazing. I can see the flags. <sighs> Way up there. Oh my God, so many. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so many flags. Wow. This is so cool. So many flags. They literally just keep going. Sorry. This was marked on Google Maps that there were Buddhist flags here, but I did not think it would be this many. There's so many. Hello? Delhi who took some pictures of me and we were chatting for a while about like traveling all over India um, up here in Himachal and then talking about Holi and they told me I should go to Pushkar for Holi and now I think I planned so much more of my trip I'm so excited I love like meeting people here that are like I don't know everyone's so nice there's also I found a recommendation for a really good spa here in McLeod Ganj Center so I might go get a foot massage because with all this walking, that would be amazing. <laughs> Muddy. <laughs> Apparently I'm next to Dharmakot, which is like another little town here. Um, I'm going back down the way I came and I found a place that has amazing reviews for Tibetan food in uh, McLeod Ganj, so right back where I started. So I'm gonna go eat there because there's some here in Dharmakot, but they're so much more expensive than the ones in McLeod Ganj. So heading back there, it's like a 20 minute walk and then food, yay. That's so crazy. I was walking past the meditation center and these three girls came out. So I was asking them if they're staying there and two of them work there. So she said it's closed right now, but she's like, yeah, you can just go open the gate, like walk around, take a look. So. I'm going to go <laughs> check out the meditation center after all. <laughs> so here's the gate. <laughs> oh, and there's drop-in morning meditation. That would be so cool. Huh. That's so crazy. I walked all around the entire complex. Didn't really see an entrance. And you can just come here in. <laughs> She said they have like week-long programs and like different courses you can do and stuff here, which I would love that. That would be so cool to stay here and do a meditation retreat up on the mountains. And the path keeps going way up. These ones are like private houses. Um, so I'm gonna head back down now. But I really wanna check out the website here because yeah, that would be so fun to come stay here for like a week or so. If I come back to, how much how? <laughs> the puppy wants its mom, not me. <laughs> this is where I wanted to eat, this tiny little one. <laughs> we'll see. JJ Exile. This, this weather is cold right now. Uh -huh. 
So moktuk is like this is actually flesh very good in this condition better, you know. Uh -huh. You feel and warm inside. So it's like the momo but in soup? With comfort soup, moktuk. Okay. And so then, we have a mutton, chicken, or wedge. Okay. So. And the noodles are also kind of soup. It's com it comes with the noodles is plain. Uh huh. But tukpa is tukpa tukpa. Mm. Uh, this one. Tukpa? Yes, yes. This one is come with soup. Also, this is nice. Okay. So mutton the tukpa that's like Tibetan noodles yes, yes, yes. or soup. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. This noodle is actually we make here, not from the market, the packet. Nice. One, no. That's a tiny little place here. Oh, the guy working here is so nice. I want to look out the window. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm trying fukpa, Tibetan noodles, which I've never had, but it sounds really good. I got the tofu one. That and a lemon mint tea. Really lemon, it's so good. Food just got here. Oh my god, that looks so good. So I got tofu, there's a bunch of veggies, the noodles that he said they make here in-house. And it's just smoking, steaming on a cold day. Mm. Also the first time I've seen chopsticks in India. <laughs> Mm. It's really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's really good. good yeah. It makes you what warm. Is, is that tukpa? What is it? Tukpa. Tukpa? Yeah. Really good and yeah. warm because it's so cold outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Finished everything. Both of them are so good. Oh my god. So good. So my tea and my tukpa were 210. Um, and I love that place. The owner too, I was talking to him for a while right now when I just finished and he was telling me all about like Tibet, like he's Tibetan but he was born in India and just like the culture here, how it's so different and everything and I love it. Like yeah, definitely eat there. It's so good. Post lunch one I'm looking for. Synergy Massage. Down here. Had really good reviews. So I'm gonna hope maybe I can stop in here. Hello. Hello. Hopefully. Yeah. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. I just got a half hour foot massage for 600. Um, but it was so good. I told him if I don't leave tomorrow, I'm gonna come back for like a full body massage. It's so much better than, than the massages I got in Rishikesh. <sighs> okay, now I don't know what I'm doing. The museum I want to go to is already closed, so um, yeah, maybe I'll go back to the to the Skyway thing and try and get sunset down by my hotel. Maybe. I looked up on Google Maps, apparently it says 36 minutes to walk back to my hotel, which is crazy because that's kind of how long it took to drive here. So I'm really interested if it's actually possible to walk back there or not because we went up like really, really steep. So I'm going to try and walk back and then I'll let you know if it's possible to walk basically from the bus station in Dharamshala right up to here to the center of McLeod Ganj. So, I guess 36 minutes starts now, and we'll see if I make it before sunset. <laughs> I guess that's why all the cars are turning there, but I'm following some monks down this, <laughs> this path. So maybe this isn't a road and it gets very small. It's definitely not where I went earlier. So maybe this is the walking shortcut. 
There's a ton of flags here though, which is cool. Oh wow, look at this. That's so cool. I don't think it's like a, a little temple thing. I don't think they're for sale. They're just here. Nice. Literally, this is why walking is my favorite thing ever because you just see the coolest stuff. Like, I never would have seen this. Look at this. More of the ones you can spin. The Kala Chakra. Spinning ones. That's so neat. Um, okay, now there is literally a hiking path. I need to see. I guess that's the way I'm going. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, and the sunset. All right, so I just saw a bunch of other people. Someone spoke English. I was talking to them. This path is just a little cool hike you can do around the Dalai Lama temple. So this is amazing. I mean, I didn't know about this. Really cool. But to get to the museum, I have to go back to the road, not this path. <laughs> These guys just came out of the woods. And they told me, here there's a path and you can go down here, it's a shortcut. They said about 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my god, we'll see if I make it. Oh, a puppy's coming with me. Hey, I was petting this dog and now it's coming here. Hey, come here. Hey. Oh, how cute. How cute. All right, um, yeah, I need to start walking. <laughs> pretty path-like so far. <laughs> oh, I hear more people. <sighs> nice, that's promising. I hear kids and a lady. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, now it comes out on the road, and I just follow the road. So, that was cool though, it worked. <laughs> I guess it was quicker. Everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy, but like, look at these views. Why would you not want to walk here? Like, this is so cool. Seriously. Oh. Sunset looks amazing. I need to go to a cafe so I can watch this. It's so nice. Every time I see the sunset, it's so much more amazing and I'm missing it. Oh. I made it back to my hotel. I just passed it. So it's definitely possible to walk back here. It was like a first little shortcut and then I was on the road the whole time. But yeah, you can do it. I want some dessert though before I go back. So I'm coming down here. coming here to the lazy panda and this lady saw me on a balcony playing with the puppies and she works here <laughs> so she escorted me here how cute is this this is so cute plants everywhere and sunset oh this is adorable this is where I wanted to see sunset but I'm a little late but it still looks amazing You can still see part of sunset, it's so nice. I'm sure in the summer too, when it's hot, it's super nice to sit out here. Yeah, but still, it looks so nice. Huh. 